Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country Homestead. God is good all the time. Well today I'm going to be fixing up my umbrella that goes over our table on our deck. So I'm going to lift this up so you can see. This is the color it was when we bought it new and obviously the sun has faded it over the last two three years that we've had it and I had a previous umbrella that I've done this to and it lasted us a good number of years it just you know the sun fades it and then in the winter time you know if it stays damp at all it'll get mold and then it will stain but I did rinse it off with the hose really good and now I have it here in the sun and letting it dry because this is probably our second spring day of the of 2017 so I want to get out here and take advantage of the sun now unfortunately because some things are so far behind I don't have all the leaves that I like to have on hand like I don't have my grape leaves aren't quite or I don't have any grape leaves yet my raspberry leaves aren't quite big enough but I do have some fern leaves which is one of my favorites to use on, on a project like this and um, just some other leaves from different um, shrubs around uh, some laurel from the hedge and um, <clears throat> I'm gonna start with these and I'll show you what I do to um, just to make this look kind of cool give it a little bit more waterproof protection and you know brighten it up so it doesn't look so you know icky so I have a couple of different colors of green here as you can tell I like green um, and so I'm just getting these ready. We can tell you've had them for a while because we stocked up on these colors because I'm always, I'm always fixing something up like my little metal step, step ladder that stays out on my deck all year round and our chairs. And I've done this to the cushions to our chairs that go to our set and, and managed to really prolong the life. We've had that set for probably 20 years. Um, and you know, several years ago, I finally bought a new umbrella because that one got just too weathered, but I'm going to start touching this up and I'll just show you how I do this. So I'm going to start with the lighter green. I take my laurel leaves. Now it's a little bit windy, so I don't know how well this is going to work. You see how I'm laying this across here like this? And then I'm just going to take my paint, just spray right, hold that in place and spray right over the top of it. Lift it away. And I'll do that, use the, use the same leaves. I'll do that in several more places. I'm not even sure if this is getting in the picture. Now, if they start picking up too much paint and start to drip, then I just toss it down and I have another one ready to go, the same type. And once that other one dries, I can continue to use it. Just gotta let it dry a little bit. use a couple of fern leaves now. This makes the coolest pattern here. I can go I can reach and right now I have this bungee cord in place so the wind doesn't pick it up and flip it over so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to turn the can upside down and then just spray out the paint so that it um it doesn't clog up I'm going to spray it until it runs clear so now I'm going to move on to my my darker color and I'm going to repeat the process down here I have a few drips and stuff on here, but it's really not going to show. It's not going to be that noticeable. And again, this is mostly just kind of brighten up, make it look a little bit better and just give it a little bit more protection to make it through the summer. Back to some more fern leaves. Now you can cross over right over one of the ones you already have. And that's just going to add a nice, some more color and interest. Well, I'm 
I'm pretty much done. I found a third color of green, which was this one right here, which was actually the one I thought I had when I was spraying this more Kelly or forest green color. I had thought I had this dark sage, but now I remember we didn't have very much of that left and that color is no longer available. So we bought the, we bought the forest green, but at least I was able to get a little bit in there to add a little more depth to this. Um, again, I might take this out on another day, gather some different leaves like raspberry leaves and other things that when they come in season and go over it just a little bit more, but I'm pretty happy with it as it is. I got a little bit of drippy stuff because I wasn't paying attention and my leaves got a little full of uh, paint and started dripping before I switched them out. So you gotta, be, if you do this, you gotta be paying attention to that. So there that is, I'll give you an idea of something you can do to to um, just freshen up some some uh, lawn furniture, you know, patio furniture and your umbrella if the sun gets it all faded out. Just pick the colors you like and grab some leaves of various things around your garden and, and just get to work. It's easy, it's fun, and it just, it just adds a little more uh, pizzazz to your stuff. And it's cheap in comparison to buying a whole brand new set. All right, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.